Hi everybody and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time and it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. So the NFL season is reaching the midway point and we have a lot of games on tap for this weekend, October the 31st. But before we get into those, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to the VIP club section which has all the tools that you will need to make your picks. So let's go take a look at some of the games for this week. See, there's a lot of games on, on tap, Cincinnati and the New York Jets, Miami and Buffalo. We're not going to take a look at all of them. We take a look at five of them, Philadelphia and Detroit. The first game we want to look at is the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns. In this classic and uh, AFC North battle, the Steelers enter play burning hot, and the Browns are average up. The Browns have a 4-3 and three record, and the Steelers are 3-3 three and three on the season. You can see here that the Steelers have won their last two. And the Browns are coming off of a win after two straight losses. The Browns are a three and a half point home favorite with odds of 1.51 to 2.542 with an over and under here of 42.5. According to the score prediction, the Browns are picked by a 25 to 24 score with 64% confidence. If we take a look at the totals predictor, if you want to consider the over and under, you can see that uh Steelers are trending slightly over the Browns are over as well so both of them are going over the line if you look at the actual uh, power rankings indicator now you will see here that Cleveland has dropped from plus 27 they are now at plus 14 while the Steelers have climbed a bit after their win they are up to plus 10. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. How stable have the two teams been? How well have they been performing according to their favorite underdog status? Cleveland's at plus three. They've been relatively stable, while Pittsburgh has been very unstable at minus one. So take a look at that before you make your bet. As far as the outcome of the game goes, I really do like the Steelers to win in this one. I like this game going over. I think this will be a higher scoring game than the 42.5. So then again, you see I want the Steelers. With the plus two, or excuse me, with the plus three and a half on the road. Let's take a look at the next game. San Francisco and Chicago. We're going to avoid that one. The Rams and Houston Texans. Tennessee and Indianapolis. Here's the next matchup we want to look at. You see, both teams are burning hot at the moment. The Titans have won their last three and five out of six, and the Colts are coming off of two straight wins and three out of their last four. The Colts are two and a half point home favorite with odds of 1.75 to 2.05 and over under set at 50.5. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you see Tennessee has climbed from plus 14 up to plus 25 and the Colts were down to plus four and have climbed back up to plus eight. If you look at the totals predictor, you see Tennessee has been trending in games well over the line for quite some time. And the Colts are now trending back over the line as well. So this could be an indication of a higher scoring game. Let's look at the uh, score prediction. Score prediction is indicating the same type of thing. Tennessee 34, Indianapolis 25. Although the confidence in prediction is slightly under 50% at 48.4%. And we took over the powering indicator before. We just again 25 to 8. So what I'm liking here in this matchup is I am liking the Colts, but take a look at the volatility oscillator first. Let's take a look and see how stable the two teams have been. Look at this. The Colts have been very, very stable, very consistent at plus four. Tennessee at minus three, very inconsistent according to their favorite underdog status. So take that into consideration. Let's take a look at the line here. The line movements, the money line. You see it started here at 1.73. Look at this. There's quite a bit of movement in the line up and down, up and down, up and down. And now it's going back to pretty much where it started. So slightly different from where it started, but pretty much the same for where it opened up. I like the Colts in this one. I like them to win. And I like them to cover the spread. And I would bet the over. Jacksonville and Seattle. New England and the Los Angeles Chargers. Here's an interesting matchup. Both teams are average status at the moment. The Patriots are coming off of a win, 2-1 over the last three, while the Chargers 
Uh, Three-game winning streak was snapped after a blowout loss to the Ravens 34-6. to If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here that the Chargers are still up near the top at plus 29, while the Patriots are down to plus 7. The Chargers are 4.5 point favorite, with odds of 1.41 to 2.868, with an over and under of 48.5. If you look here at the uh, score prediction, the Chargers 35, the Patriots 16. This is a blowout prediction with a pretty high level of confidence in this prediction of 74, excuse me, 73 percent. Let's take a look at what the totals predictor is showing. You can see the Patriots have been trending in games well under the line, and the Chargers have been trending in games under the line lately as well. So that's a very good indication to bet under. I think the under is a safe way to go. I do like the Chargers to win and cover at home. Tampa Bay and New Orleans. This could be the game of the day. The Saints come in burning hot, as well as the Buccaneers burning hot. You see uh, Tampa Bay has won their last four and five out of their last six, while the Saints are on a two-game winning streak and three wins in their last four games. Tampa Bay is a road favorite of five and a half points with odds of 1.41 to 2.868, and the over-under is set at 50.5. The score prediction has Tampa Bay 31, New Orleans 20, which will be just barely over the line, with confidence in prediction at 66%. Let's take a look at the totals predictor. The totals predictor is indicating over for Tampa Bay, under for the Saints, so I would avoid betting the over-under in this one. Let's take a look at the uh, power ranking indicator, which we did not do yet. Tampa Bay, you can see here, is at plus 29, near the top of the league. The Saints were down to plus 13, and they have climbed up now to plus 18. How stable have the two teams been? Well, let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. And this is showing that Tampa Bay is extremely stable. They're really performing according to the favorite underdog status. New Orleans is not there at minus 2. That's another indication to go with Tampa Bay. But let's take a look at the money line here. Take a look at the money line. It opened up here. Okay, once this opens, I can reveal to you what that is. And so far, it's not opening. I'm not sure why. Uh, so, yeah, the money line is not opening right now. So, anyway, you could see that. If you could see the money line, you could see that it is... Now, here it is. It came up right now. Okay, it started at 1.481, and you can see it's really, really moved. Look at this. It came up all the way up to 1.37, and it is set, settling now at 1.41. But the odds are definitely in favor of Tampa Bay. I like Tampa Bay to win this game, and I like them to cover, and I think I would avoid the over and under, though. Washington and Denver. Dallas and Minnesota. The Cowboys come in burning hot, winners of their last five. Minnesota is burning hot also, winners of their last two and three out of their last four. The Cowboys are two and a half point road favorite with odds of 1.8 to 2 and an over under set at high 55.5. The score prediction is showing a lot lower scoring game with the Cowboys winning in a blowout by 29 to 12 score with 62% confidence. The power ranking indicator is showing the Cowboys are up to plus 25, and Minnesota has climbed some there at plus 9. If you're considering the over and under, let's see how high of a scoring game we could expect looking at the totals predictor. You see the Cowboys are trending in games lately well over the line. Minnesota trending over the line as well. I do believe this will be a higher scoring game, but I don't think it's going to be as high a score as the 55.5. I would not bet the over. I would not bet the under. I would, I would avoid this one due to the uncertainty whether it will go over and under. I don't think it will go over, but I would probably avoid betting the over and under in this case. I do like the Cowboys to win. I don't think it will be by a 17-point margin. It will be a closer game than that. More competitive, but the Cowboys will win and cover. So there you have it. Those are all the games. There is new, uh, the Giants and Kansas City, but we're not taking a look at that one for this week. So those are the games. For this week for October the 30th. Happy betting and we will see you next time.